Hello friends, welcome back. On this video, we are going to deal with glitter colors. Glitter has different uh, types of colors, just like any other uh, drawing software. And I'm going to show you how these colors work. Uh, on top, I don't know if you are able to see, just on top bar, uh, there is two colors. That is, I have red and blue. The first is the background, and the, the, the red one is the foreground color, and the blue is the foreground color. On default, they are white and black. So, if so, for me, like now, I like if you can interchange them. If you make some customized colors, you have to the default and the customized one. So, for now, I just switched back to customized one that is black and white. Uh, right now, I have foreground as black and foreground is uh, and the background as as black so for now if you want to change these colors just click on the one you want to change and if it's foreground or the background maybe i want to change it to uh to something like uh, like light yellow and uh, that i click ok now you can see how they have changed and this take effects if you want to do something or paint something for instance if i want to paint uh I'm already on a paint layer, so I can just paint something with the right brush here. That's a soft brush, and maybe I want to paint here. So I'm able to see I've been able to paint with that. So if I change this, this is the light blue. I, I think I should use a more stronger color for, so that we can all see. Let me use red. So that changes. It's red now. Okay. Uh, maybe I change this color to something like green. Uh, and you can see now I have green. One thing, once you click on changing the color, you have a wheel, and the next you have some colors to choose for. Uh, so um, once I have a wheel, I can rotate this to somewhere I want until I get my preferred color. So you can use the wheel and select the color you want. Also, there is the dropper. The dropper helps you to pick a color from one diagram to the other, but that works on vector designs. So let me un let me just add a vector shape here and do away with the paint brush, the paint layer, and then do away that. So now I have a vector, and maybe I just want to draw something quite fast here. Let me make sure I'm in the normal mode. Okay, I'll also reduce this and I'm going to do something like that. Uh, so now, okay, and I also draw something else down here with the creeps tool. And let me say I have this in different colors, so I'll change the color of the circle to something, something like, let me use another color which is more strong, like blue. So now you can see I have the circle in broom and I have the rectangle in land. That's the fill. So if I use the dropper tool, I can just I will have to select. Maybe I want to change the rectangle color so to the broom with the with the circle uh, stroke. So I'll just grab the dropper. Uh, it's called the dropper or the color sampler tool. The shortcut that is P. And then I will just come here and pick this color. Uh, you have to have this selected first, then pick this color. And once you click on it, you'll be able to see the background color changes up there. Maybe I want to pick the end, and you can see it changes on top there. That's how they work. So if you want to customize the background color and the foreground color uh, with a shape or a color you found on the internet, you just have to... I open it in Krita and just use the color sampler tool and just uh, uh, copy the color and it will be automatically in the and then on your background or the foreground colors. Uh, so once more, we are we dealt with this uh, when making vector designs. But if you want to change the colors of these designs, if you haven't checked the previous videos, uh, once you got the tool options that is on the right side. Uh, you first you ma you have to select one of these uh, diagrams. So I'm just select the rectangle. 
and now once you click on the tool options you'll be able to see the uh, the stroke and the fade to change these colors like now you can see this furious pink and once i click on color i can change it to any color i want you see in the color select uh the color selector i uh, and get once i click on this now i can change it to any color i want Like that. So if uh, for to add to add a few color to this, right now what we are seeing is a white background. But if you want to add a few color, it's just the same. Click on the fill and choose a background. Uh, uh, uh sorry, a solid color. And now you can see I've already added a solid color which is yellow. Maybe I don't want it to be yellow for this because we already have a stroke which is light orange. So let me add it to dark blue. And then you can see we have this one but what about um we don't want a solid color we want a more fancy color maybe a gradient so i'll just keep this one blue but uh oh i can just uh, let me keep this one blue and add a gradient on the clips so first allow me to change this blue to something um, to pink so now we can be able to see it on top of this so now what about if i want to add uh a more fancy mixture of colors that this may be a gradient so I'll just grab on the fill and now I can choose between gradient fill or or none or even say no right now I'm no fill so I'll just click on gradient fill and right now you can see they have given me the default that is black and white but what about if I want to change it to more other colors so I'll just and down there just below uh, the type of the ingredients you want you'll be able to see the presets and once you double click you'll be able to double right click you'll be able to, uh, the, this video will open and you'll be able to change the color maybe you add a different color you can add different colors let me add that and let me add another one i want to take four colors on this mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. just select I'm just selecting random colors on this and now you can see I'm I've been able to add a different color but I want several colors in one so let me add another one now I have to uh, let me add pink as well let me add another one uh, maybe something like that oh, i lost it <laughs> for some reason i lost it okay now i have two colors uh, like you can see and i can move them the way i want because I have a linear gradient, but if I add a radio one, you can see now it's more like a radio one. So uh, I want to add another color. Let me add brush. Uh, and now I have three, actually four colors. So let me go back to the type of gradient I want linear and make one a little smaller. Make this one a little bigger and make one small bigger. Oh, sorry. Okay. You have to make sure they don't overlap. So you can tweak this until you get the effect you want. you can get the effect you want now you can see i have a gradient of two very vibrant colors and now you can see i have a more uh, a more fancy eclipse so that is it maybe i wanted to make a sun and you want it to be more island uh, and some like orange and there you have your sun in different colors so that's that's um that's all about colors in creator 
Uh, so see in the next video where we will be dealing with uh, test and test coloring. Uh, so for now, um, go back and try to play around with colors. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. And uh, remember to subscribe so that you can know when I post the new video. Uh, bye for now.